Have you ever wondered what exactly happens to your luggage after you hand it over at the airport check-in desk? What's hidden behind those mysterious black rubber strips? We all know what it's like. You load your suitcase onto the belt, pray that it doesn't exceed 23 kilos, otherwise there'll be trouble, and then watch it move away. At that point, a little anxiety is normal. Who knows if you'll see it again when you arrive? Well, effectively, there is a bit of risk involved. The data from 2022 indicates that there are 708 lost bags for every 1,000 passengers. So, what happens to these lost bags? The system responsible for sorting luggage at the airport is called the BHS, which stands for the Baggage Handling System and involves three phases. The first phase is the departure, which means transporting the luggage from the check-in counter to the flight's departure gate. Then there's the flight. This involves the transition from the departure gate to the arrival gate, with the entire flight in between. After that, there's the arrival, which concerns transporting the luggage from the airplane's hold to the baggage claim area. The first fundamental step is checking in, which may either be managed by an operator or an automated process. You know that tag they attach to the handle of your suitcase? Well, it's got everything you need to know on it. The owner's first and last names, the destination airport, a barcode and a numeric code that belongs solely and exclusively to your luggage. The barcode is crucial for what will happen next. In fact, behind the black rubber strips. There's a labyrinth of conveyor belts with various intersections and deviations. The barcode is scanned so that the baggage can be directed towards its flight. And all of this is done with a system that is, for the most part, automated. If a piece of baggage does not get scanned automatically, an operator steps in to scan it. Just imagine that in an international airport like Milan Malpensa, all the conveyor belts put together reach an incredible length of 22 kilometers. During this phase, x-rays are used to inspect your luggage, just like your carry-on baggage when you go through the metal detector checks if a piece of luggage contains something problematic. It is diverted along another path. And staff may also manually check its contents. So, if you don't want them to go through your bags, Please make sure there are no weapons, no flammable objects, and no corrosive acids. Once the baggage has passed through the checks, it continues its journey with belts, robotic arms, ramps, and carts helping it along its way until it reaches the sorting station. Each station corresponds to a flight. This is where the baggage handlers receive all the suitcases before they load them onto those small trucks with carts that you see driving around the runways. This entire process is monitored from a control room where staff ensure that everything runs smoothly. As I said before, the system is to a large extent automated, but as always, it is still necessary for people to monitor the process. Once the luggage arrives at the airplane, it is loaded into the cargo hold. But don't worry, they don't just throw it on board. The handlers carefully arrange the baggage in such a way that the weight is distributed correctly inside the hold. Then, after landing, the suitcases are once again loaded onto small trucks and brought back to the conveyor belts, which finally take them to the baggage claim area, where you will most likely already be waiting, worried about not seeing your luggage again. Well, explained like that, it seems easy, right? So, how does the suitcase get lost? There are a number of possible causes, but more often than not, it happens when a stopover is involved, especially if it is an international flight involving different airlines. Sometimes there is very little time to move luggage from one plane to another. In other cases, on the other hand, the identification tag may get damaged, making the luggage unrecognizable. Or, quite simply, human error may be involved. Most of the time, however, the only consequence is that the suitcase will arrive late to its destination. In fact, of the 26 million pieces of luggage lost worldwide in 2022, a whopping 21 million eventually reached their destinations with delays that, in some cases, were of up to several days. In fact, if for some reason or another your luggage unfortunately doesn't make it onto your flight, the first thing the baggage handlers do is load it onto the next available flight on the same route, of which, as you know, there may be several throughout the day. The BHS is designed to guarantee this, namely that our luggage always has its identity card with it so it can reach its destination. All things considered, the number of bags that never end up being reunited with their owners is relatively small.
We're talking about 0.7% of the total, and the total is a really huge number. It's estimated that 3.4 billion people traveled by plane in 2022, a number that is sure to rise in the coming years. And then, technological advancements obviously mean that the percentage of luggage that gets lost continues to decrease. To understand the sheer size of these numbers, just imagine that at peak times when there are a lot of passengers, Rome Fiumicino Airport has to handle up to 10,000 pieces of luggage an hour. In short, with such large numbers, it's reasonable to talk about natural and acceptable levels of risk. Well, folks, hope I've at least partially eased your anxiety about losing your luggage. Anyway, keep in mind that the path we've shown you is an approximate one. Every airport has a system that is tailored to meet its own specific needs. In particular, the distance that baggage has to travel from the check-in desk to the airplane is what most influences the structure of its baggage handling system. Thank you for making it this far. I'll see you for the next video, always here on Geopop Everyday Science.